it's Jess from Freedom Garden Girl. Uh, today we're going to do a different video, a little bit away from gardening. Um, and we're going to talk about putting together these sawhorses that I got for about $55 at Harbor Freight. Alright, so it's the Central Machinery two-piece foldable sawhorse set from Harbor Freight. Um, and it came with this manual, which it sucks. Let's just put it that way. Um, but it has... Oh. That's my dog again. Sorry. Um, it has all the instructions, which are really poorly <laughs> done. Um, and then it has like an exploded diagram with the parts list. There's the parts list and there's the diagram. It's a little confusing and convoluted. And since I couldn't find a really good video, this is why we're making one today. So anyhow, but yeah. All right, hey you guys. Okay, we're back. Um, I put, I messed up. Come here. Yeah, yeah. We got these installed. Um, my son's gonna show you a little close up of what it looks mm. like. Being silly. Yeah, you can go. So that's how you install the brackets. Um, and then the next step is installing your legs. All right, you see these holes here. It comes with two holes, all right? And then there's holes down on this side this is for your bottom so don't get that twisted up or confused this is for the top so this is what you're gonna we're gonna be working on is this side okay you're going to install the holes and line them up with the outside holes in this bracket so it goes on the inside y'all see that y'all see that it's on the inside okay and you're gonna take these bolts and the other other piece is going to go in like so. So it kind of looks like scissors, okay? Well, we'll start with one at a time. All right. You'll need four of these bolts here. I'll show you. You see? These right. bolts with the flat head, they go on the outside here, okay? Inside. And then you're going to need the nut. That goes with them. Bear with me, I gotta find the correct one. We, there's there's different kinds in here, so I have to make sure I get the right one. This is another one that has a nylon a nylon thread and that, that doesn't go with that one. So, so anyway, you know, you'll need these nuts. Let's see here. I don't know if you can see that very well. About like that. All right, and that's gonna go on the inside to hold the, that uh, that bolt in. All right. So, Phoenix, why don't you get up in here so you can let them see what I'm doing? Um, mm -hmm. But you're gonna put that nut and that bolt there. Just gonna screw it on and get it started. You have to pardon me. And the, for those of y'all who are very new to building or anything like that, uh, just remember the phrase "righty tighty, lefty loosey," because uh, that'll help you uh, know what direction to screw in your your bolts and screws. Okay, right is tight, left is loose. Okay, clockwise tight, counterclockwise loose. Same thing. No matter how you say it. That's how it goes. And as you can see, some of these, they, they're a little, they're a little tough to thread. Like I had to use like a little wrench to kind of help me on some of them. Cause normally I can just get them on here and start threading them. These on the other hand, eh, they're a little difficult. But anyways, you're gonna do this for each one. Okay. You're gonna do these for each one of the legs. Okay, and like I said, you might need a little bit of a socket wrench to tighten that up, okay? Because, yeah, I'm going to make sure that's on there good. But anyway, you also don't want to make them so tight that they don't move, okay guys? Because the point is, is that you're going to expand these out 
and then when you want to fold the sawhorse up you want to be able to to move it in so just remember that when you're installing these and you're tightening these down you want them snug but you don't want them where the leg doesn't fluidly like you know move for you but you you know you don't want it to fall apart either so got to find that balance there guys I'm really hoping this video has helped somebody because I'm going to tell you what, these are it's an excellent deal for these sawhorses. They're pretty decent for the price. The fact that you get two of them, uh, where a lot of the other ones, they're only single um, for about the same price, if not more. Um, it's pretty awesome, guys. So, I uh, wouldn't recommend leaving these outside, though, considering they are steel. They would be prone to rust. If you're not somebody like me who's been, well... Uh, going to welding school and learning how the metal working works and how to repair and take care of metal um that may not be for you okay so <laughs> i just liked it because it was a good price and they seem to be pretty sturdy um so yeah but all you're doing is just this for each each one um each side this is what you're doing that's all you're doing um so anyway i'm gonna finish this up okay and we'll meet you on the next uh, step. This thing together with my, my son Phoenix's help. Um, so come in close here, Phoenix. Let him see this. Hi. All right, so we got the legs installed and we got the bolts put on. And they're nice and tight. But see, you see, you can still move it so that you can um, fold it. And just make sure these are good and snug, though. All right. Next step is to put on the feet protection, <laughs> feet covers. Hey, sorry, my daughter Kaylee. You've seen Kaylee before in videos. <laughs> she's she's video bombing. So anyway, stop that. Um, the one thing I will tell you that these are really snug. So what I did is I took like a, a screwdriver or something, you know, some flat. I didn't want to damage it, but just to kind of open it up to make it easier to put the feet onto the ends of the legs because it's pretty stiff. All right, so I kind of opened it up a little bit. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your foot and you're gonna stick it, in your foot cover, you're gonna stick it on the end of the leg. Okay, and you guys kind of have to force it on there. It's not easy, but it made it a lot easier when I opened those up. <coughs> Bless you. So anyways, Maybe. you got four of them. You're going to do all four, um, like so. And I'm going to open up this one again to make it, make it easier on myself. That plastic just gets real snug up together. Okay. I mean, it's not damaging it. I'm not, like, you know, causing any damage here. I kind of ain't all about that stuff. I, I hate ruining stuff, especially when you get something brand new. Sorry, my dog is barking. So I'm sure you've met London before. I think he's kind of photo bombed or video bombed a few times. So like you said, it's like I was showing you, it's stiff. It's it can be a little bit to get in there at times. But I find if you can it forward on the inside and then push it back on the outside, it goes on a little bit easier. As you can see. And a little bit slanted sideways, so you can see how I did that. Okay. Um, now we're gonna do the one, ones over here. Sorry. All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, so we've got our feet installed, um, and then now we're gonna install our cross bracing. Okay. And if you notice that the sticker is right side up, I've got the sawhorse upside down, so I'm gonna install it upside down. So that when it's right side up or erect, sorry, it's a car going by. So when it's right up, right side up or erect, it'll be in the right direction. I'm anal like that. You know, if you don't care, whatever. Okay. So what you're gonna do is, sorry, it's kid, my daughter. What? I checked out the plant. Okay. Well, go go check on some more. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> so what you gotta do, guys. Um, is you're gonna take your cross bracing here. You're gonna take, come here, Phoenix. Let me see this. These little tiny bolts. I mean, they're like little short guys, okay? And they're a rounded head. And then you're gonna take 
these nuts. So they're the little, the smaller ones that are in the pack. All right, and you need 14 of those. So make sure you have 14 in the package, okay? And then you're going to come over here. All right, dude. All right, guys, you're gonna see these engineered, these pre-drilled holes. Um, that's where you're going to line your cross bracing up and you're going to install the screw in this way. Okay. So what I do is generally I get, I get them started. So this is such a short little screw, like bolt. Um, it's a little bit difficult to get in there. So I'm just kind of get it started. Um, you know, you do the best you can. If you got a, an extra hand, um, utilize them because that's going to help you a lot. Uh, you don't got a lot of real estate either to screw these nuts on. So just forewarned, um, you know, but I just kind of get them started. But you're going to do this on both sides of the legs, guys, okay? Um, fairly simple. Um, you know, now that I've put one together already, you know, and it makes sense, I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, we're good, you know? But when you first get this thing, it seems confusing, especially when you start doing the um, collapsible cross brace on the side. Um, so, you know, where you can, are able to fold it, it gets a little crazy. A little, it gets a little convoluted there. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's <laughs> all right. Hey, she's four. What are you going to do, right? Anyway, you're going to get this in here. Whoops. All right, and you're going to do that for both sides, guys. All right, I'm just going to repeat the process. All right, so I'm going to finish this up, and then we'll go to the next step. Hey, guys. Okay, I'm back. Um, as you can see, we installed the cross bracing. we we'll come show them a little bit what we did. Um, so you have eight you know four each side um nuts and bolt uh nut or bolts and nuts that you install and that's for both side bracing you can see um so we got it over here as well okay so that's all you got to do for that the next step is to install our leg locking brace um this allows you to fold it up and then um this holds it together or holds it out when you want it standing up. Um, so you'll need two, two of these braces. You'll need two of the little screw um, knobs. Um, you're gonna need two nylon insert nuts, okay? Mm. That's what they look like. Um, you'll need four different both same ones that we used earlier you're gonna need two of these types of washers and then you also need um i'm trying to remember what these are called i'm terrible at names sorry guys these no oh. you gotta have um a split lock washer that's what they're called i'm sorry i'm terrible with names so you have the split wash lock washers. You need two of those. And then you need, um, yeah, that's pretty much what you need. You don't need anything else, guys. That's it. So anyways, when you install this, since I've got this guy upside down, um, you want to make sure that this piece is facing towards the sky. Or when you have it, you know, turned around, it's going to be facing down towards the ground. So we're going to start by installing our bolt here, which goes um, on this side through here. Then you're going to need the uh, nylon insert nut. This guy, you're going to put it on the inside. Okay, you're going to screw this on. It's only going to thread so far because it's going to leave a little bit of a, um, it leaves a little bit of wiggle room. So that you can put the you can take this brace you know off and I'll pop it back on okay so it's not meant to go on there all the way guys just so you know then you're gonna take 
You're gonna take another nut. All right, this time it's gonna go, kinda have to stretch out the legs a little bit. They're a little bit stiff. So you can get this on here, but you're gonna put this going in this direction. All right. Um, and then you're gonna have your split lock washer. You also need, sorry, these nuts, you're gonna have to put that on there. Uh. This is the wrong nut. You forgot the doof. <laughs> Anyway, you gotta put that on there first, guys. I'm sorry. All right, and then this goes on. It's getting late, I've been losing my sunlight, so we're gonna go ahead and finish this up. Um, but basically, you're gonna repeat the same process for, for the other side, okay? Um, once you get that done, uh, you flip it back right back up and it should be good. Um, and just, you want to fold it, you just uh, undo it, just like I just showed you. Um, but anyway, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, and when you're done, you'll be able to see your sawhorse is going to look just like this one here. Okay? Mm. Um, sorry I had to cut it short, but um, yeah, it's, it's getting dark quick. And I think there's a storm coming in. So, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope this helped you guys out. Um, just remember to like this video, share, subscribe, put a comment below. If you have any suggestions or you have any questions, please, please do uh, comment below and, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Um, you can find me on um, TikTok at Freedom Gardener Girl, Instagram, and Facebook. All right. Until next time, happy gardening. Have a good day. Go make something. Bye.